Dodgers hosting the Braves, and the Braves are minus 134. On the money line, the Dodgers are plus 114. Over under, eight and a half runs. Braves laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 126, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. And the Dodgers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 152, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now it's going to be a very rare thing that you hear the Dodgers at home as an underdog. So drink that in while it lasts. Now these lines are going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Use a site like VegasInsider.com. Totally free. We'll allow you to compare all the sportsbooks' pricings in one place. Strider pitched once against the Dodgers this year. Six innings, four runs, two of which were earned. They lost that game 8-1, to one, and he struck out 11 batters in that game. The Braves are 4-1 and one in his last five starts. He's averaging six innings pitched and 7.4 strikeouts per game in those games. They've won his last three starts. The under has hit in his last three starts, and the under is 4-1 and one in his last five starts, and he has an ERA of 1.6. One earned run, nine strikeouts, 94 pitches. No earned runs, 10 strikeouts, 97 pitches. No earned runs, six strikeouts, 105 pitches. Six earned runs, three strikeouts, 63 pitches. One earned run, nine strikeouts, 110 pitches. Now, he's pitched twice against the Dodgers, and he hasn't beaten them losing 8-1 and 5-3. The over-under is 1-1 one one in those games. The stat line reads 6 innings, 4 runs, 2 of which were earned, 11 strikeouts, 1 home run, 104 pitches. That was this year. And then 6 innings, no runs, no earned, 7 strikeouts, 95 pitches. That was last year. Now, for Lynn, he did pitch against the Braves this year as a member of the White Sox. 5 and a third, Four runs, four earned. They won that game 6-5 to five in Atlanta, and he struck out six, and that was with the trash White Sox team. The Dodgers are 5-0 and in his last five starts. He's averaging six innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 1.4. The over is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Three earned runs, one strikeout, two home runs, 94 pitches. No earned runs, three strikeouts, 87 pitches. No earned runs, nine strikeouts, 94 pitches. One earned run, six strikeouts, one home run, 96 pitches. Three earned runs, seven strikeouts, three home runs, 93 pitches. He's pitched three times against the Braves in the past. Once this year, once in 2017, and then once in 2015. He's two and one in those three games. The over hit in those last two starts. The game this year, five and a third. Four runs, four earned, six strikeouts, two home runs, 97 pitches. 2017, six innings, no runs, no earned, six strikeouts, 95 pitches. He was with the Cardinals then. They won that game 10-0. And then the game that he lost was 2-0, five innings, one run, one earned, and 79 pitches. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Dodgers are 6-4. and four. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs, 5-5. Five and five. There's only been one. One run game in their last 10 meetings. The under is 7-3 and three in their last 10. And the under 8.5 runs is 7-3. and three. Now, earlier this year, I picked against Strider because he had lost both appearances to the Giants. And that came back and bit me in the ass. And the same thing goes here where he hasn't beaten the Dodgers yet. But the Dodgers are a better team than the Giants. And both of these pitchers right now are pitching lights out. So this is going to be me doing the best that I can, and I'm going to hedge. I'm going to take the Braves with the money line. I'm going to take the Dodgers getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly. This is going to be one of those games, if you really want to bet it, pay attention to it, and wait for the game to start, and then start hammering it in-game. And who knows, you could catch a middle and get both of the teams getting positive money and make out on both ends.